What's going on guys? Today we are going to create a facial recognition program in about 10 lines of Python. So we're gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna show you guys how it works and then we'll get started. So let me just go ahead and pull this up for you guys. All right, so here we go. And it's gonna be a live stream from the web camera that you can now see is recognizing my face. If I hold up another picture of myself here, uh, there we go. It'll also recognize that, but then obviously other objects not so much sunscreen no okay so now we are going to build this in about 10 lines of python using the opencv python module which is built for object recognition all right so first thing that we want to do here is go ahead and install the program to do that so we're going to use the python package manager which is called pip so we're going to say pip install opencv dash python now, I already have this installed on my computer, but this should install for you guys, and we will be building this with Python 3.6. Okay, so once we have OpenCV installed on our computer here, we wanna go ahead and we want to uh, install a couple packages besides that, but the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create a file for our script. So we're gonna say uh, facial recognition. Now, you guys can write this in whatever code editor you want to use. I'm using Vim, however, there you can use VS Code, PyCharm, or IDLE, anything you guys want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that file now. We're going to call it facial or face recognition. All right, and now we're going to say import CV2. Now CV2 is actually what we just installed, even though the name of it from the uh, package manager was opencv-python. When we import CV2, that's what we'll pull in. And now we're gonna say import sys. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to load in the actual facial classifier, okay? So in order to do this, we need to have the, uh, the, the actual features that have already been detected for us and then we're going to go ahead and load those in okay so let's go ahead and do that now we're going to define a variable called face cascade and this is going to equal cv2 dot cascade classifier so this is how we're going to load in that classifier and now i'm going to point to a file here that is going to be kept in the same directory i'm going to link to this exact file uh, in a github repo which you guys will be able to pull down you simply add that file to the same directory that your script is currently in and then you'll be able to load in the features that are, are going to be used to detect the faces so we're going to say cv2.cascade classifier and the name of this file is going to be har cascade underscore frontal face underscore default dot XML. Okay, so this is the file that is going to contain the features that are going to be looked for in order to detect faces. Now, what is a har cascade? A har cascade is a sort of classifier that is different from deep learning. These are more handcrafted features, although they are extracted in a similar way to deep learning in that you have a bunch of images that would contain a face and a bunch of images that do not contain a face. And then it is able to establish the features to look for in order to determine whether or not there are faces in the webcam stream. All right, so now we're gonna create another variable called video capture. And this is just going to be the live video capture stream. So we're gonna say cv2.video capture zero. All right, so now we've got our, our features that we're going to be looking for in order to determine whether or not there are faces. And we also have our video, video capture uh, set up in order to have the live stream from our camera. Now, this is going to, by default, use the camera that is on your laptop or computer, your default uh, webcam. So make sure you have that uh, set up. All right, so now we're gonna say, uh, now we need to create a loop. So it's gonna continually loop uh, capturing the video stream frame by frame, looking for faces. If it finds faces, we want it to recognize them and draw that, uh, draw that rectangle for us around those faces. And so now we're gonna do that. So we're gonna say while true in order to have our infinite loop. And we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna capture frame by frame here. So we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna say return value signified by retval and frame. So we're declaring two variables here, retval, which is gonna be the return value and frame is going to be video capture dot read. And now this is another function from the CV2 module that we are importing that is going to return these two variables for us when it comes back. 
So now what we want to do is actually take in the frames that are coming in and convert them into grayscale images. If we don't convert them to grayscale and we keep it as a standard RGB three color channels, it takes a lot longer to actually process the images itself. So we're going to say gray equals CV2 dot CVT color for convert color. And now we want to convert that frame and we want to say uh, CV2 dot color underscore BGR to gray. Okay, so that's actually going to take that frame that it's captured It's going to convert that into grayscale and then it will pass it back through for us. All right. So once we've got that, let's go ahead here and actually detect the features that are going to be specified by the heart cascade. So we want to go ahead here and say faces is going to be face cascade uh, dot detect multi scale. And now we're going to have gray scale factor which is going to be 1.1 now these are just a few parameters that we're passing uh, that are for the hard cascade specifically so it knows uh, what features it's going to look for and how to look for those features and now we're going to say uh, min neighbors equals 5 and min size equals 35 35 all right and now we're going to go ahead and close that out there and let me just fix that up all right, so now that we've got that, we now have our, our image frame that has been captured from our video feed. We've converted it to grayscale. Now we're going to, we're detecting the features in there, and now we want to draw the rectangle around each of those faces. So we're gonna say four X, Y, W, and H in faces. Okay, so this is gonna be for the, basically the corners, you can think of it for each of the, or not corners, but for the, for each width and height Imagine a box going around the captured face for each um, for each width and height. We want to go ahead and draw the rectangle around this. So now, if you guys have used Pygame before, this is going to look a little bit similar to this, um, but it's essentially doing the same thing here. So we're going to say frame uh, for the surface. We have x and y, and then we have x plus w and y plus h. So this is going to actually go ahead and draw those that box now around the face that we recognized. And we want to specify the color that it wants to be. And this is going to take um, your standard RGB uh, pixel values in order to draw that rectangle around it. So we're going to say 50, 50, 200. You guys can specify whatever color, and then two. All right, so now we should go ahead here and we say cv2 dot I am show. We want to show on the video and then we want to show that frame that we captured. And then after we do that, we want to just set up a way for ourselves to exit this video feed. So we're going to say if cv2 dot wait key. And now this is just a function again from cv2 in order to capture these uh, inputs while we're doing this here. So we want to say uh, zero xff equals ord. Q. Again, don't worry too much about this. This is very specific to CV2. Um, and again, it's just capturing those inputs as they come in. All right. And we're going to say sys.exit. All right. So now that we've got that, we've got our whole file here. Uh, let's see. By face recognition.py. All right. So again, just to recap for you guys, we're going ahead and we're going to load in this file. I now have to uh, actually make a directory and copy that file over so we have that in our same directory for us. Uh, then we're capturing our video feed, capturing frame by frame, converting it to grayscale, detecting those features, and then we're going ahead and drawing the rectangle around the features we've detected, we're showing that frame with the new drawing on it, and then we have a little conditional in there in order to exit our video feed as well. So let's go ahead here, and now I'm going to make a directory called um, face recognition. And I'm going to move that in there. So we're going to say move face recognition.py into face recognition. And now I want to go ahead and I want to grab this other file. So I actually have this other file here. Let me go ahead and check out exactly where it is. So we're going to go ahead here and CD, or I'm going to go ahead and copy this over. This guy, at this point, guys, you can go ahead and grab this file from the Git repo, either by cloning it down or copy and pasting. Uh, it's up to you guys how you want to do that exactly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change into that. If you guys need any help with that specifically, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you guys out. All right, and then we're going to change into this here. And this right here, this hard cascade frontal face is what we want. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to say copy 
Par Cascade, and we're going to go back a couple into face recognition. And now we're going to change back into that directory. And we're going to try running this script. So now we're going to go ahead and type Python face recognition.py. And let's see here. Positional argument follows keyword argument. I must have forgotten some syntax there, so we'll check that out. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got face cascade, detect multi-scale, gray, scale factor. Oh, we need our equal sign, that's why. Okay, I'll try this again. Face cascade is not defined. Let's check this out. Oh, and a little spelling mistake, perhaps. Yep. All right, and here we go. All right, so now it's initializing the runtime, and here we go. Drag this over, and boom, there we are. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This is a kind of cool project, uh, super fun, and pretty quick to do. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any comments, any feedback, definitely leave them below. If you guys run into any issues while you're doing this, also leave that in the comments. And thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, a thumbs up would be great. And do remember to subscribe. We're building a great community here, learning all about Python, JavaScript, and all kinds of things programming related. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day.